Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Part 5 of Lesson 29 So Alhamdulillah we went over the symbols of waqf The rules of waqf And also the different types of mud So inshallah we'll start with this lesson And from this point on we'll be reading without spelling We won't be uh, spelling any words So from now on inshallah we'll be uh, reading without spelling And we'll briefly touch all the rules that we have learned and f uh, focus more on the symbols of wolf, uh, the rules of wolf, and also the different types of mud, inshallah. Uh, so show the difference between a Hamza and a Ain. Hamza is soft, Ain is harsh. Uh, uh, Name of Allah with a Zerb before it, empty mouth. Uh, Make sure you don't drag the ha. Billahi minash. Hold on to the sheen. Minash shaytanir. So, ta is full mouth. Shaytanir. Noon is empty mouth. Ra is full mouth. Shaytanir rajim. So, again. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. And this is the ayah symbol. This indicates that you must stop. Right? And the general rule of waqf is that the last letter gets a, a, a sukun. Right? And uh, this yasaki with the zair before it, this is maddul arid waqfi, which means that after the letters of mad, you give a temporary sukun and you stretch it three or five alifs. So this is maddul arid waqfi. So again, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هو الله Make sure the قاف is full mouth because if you end up saying with a small calf with the empty mouth <coughs> then it will, uh, you will change the meaning to that it will, be, it will give a command of saying to eat so make sure you say it with the full mouth so قل هو الله Name of Allah with a zebra before it, full mouth. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad. Pronounce the with harshness. And this, uh, the, uh, there are two ayah symbols. The circle means that you must stop. G means that you have the option to stop. If you want to stop, you can stop. If you don't want to, then you don't have to stop. And we also mentioned that many ulama al they say that it's better, whenever you see a G, it's better to just stop. So when both of these two are combined, it means that you have the option to to read without stopping. But it's best that you stop over here. So, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ Make sure you make قَلْقَلَ on a dal. And, and dal is one of the قَلْقَلَ letters. When it has a sukun, you have to, you have to bounce it. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ مِنْ خَوْف The afternoon sakin, there's a kha. So that will be idhar. There will be no ghunna. Kha is one of the letters of the throat. So there will be no ghunna. Min khawf. Now this is the ayah symbol. Which means you have to stop. So uh, the last letter will get a temporary sukun. And this is maddul lean arid waqfi. After the letters of lean, you give a temporary sukun. Letters, letters of lean is, are um, wow saking with a zebra before it. Or a ya saki with a zebra before it. And you stretch it for uh, preferably one and a half alif. So min khawf, min khawf, wa jannatin al fafa. Min khunna on a noon, noon has a tajdeed. Wa jannatin, that's madul asli. We mentioned that um, after the letters of mud, uh, alif with a zebra before it, wa saki with the fish before it, ya saki with the zebra before it. Um, uh, and also kara uh, zabr it's just like alif with a zabr before it kari uh, it's just like uh, a ya saking with a zer before it and ulta fish is just like a wow saking with a fish before it and there are no hamza or sukun or tashdeed after it and no more symbols on top so here you'll stretch it for one alif so a jannatin and after tanween there is a hamza so that's idhar no gunna will take place وَجَنَّاتٍ أَلْفَافَا So this is the ayah symbol, which means to stop. And if the last letter has a do zabr, we learned that that's one of the rules of wolf. 
that you take away one zebra and you stretch it. And how long you stretch it for? You stretch it for, stretch it for only one alif. Why? Why is it that, that this is not mud al-arid waqfi? It's because that after the uh, alif with the zebra before it, after that there is no hamza sukun al tashdeed. So that's why we'll only stretch it one alif. Alif alif So again, wa jannatin alif And if you look over here, after the letters of mud, there is uh, there's a temporary sukun. So that's why that's madul al waqfi. But here there is no sukun. So that uh, this is called madul asli. Ida hasad. Ida hasad. Pronounce a ha properly. And that gets a sukun. So you have to make qalqala. Ida hasad. There's an ayah symbol. And this is an ayn. Ayn, uh, um, ayn also means that you, you must stop. So when ayn and, and the ayah symbol comes together, it means that you have to stop. You're not allowed to continue from here. Uh, Without, without stopping. So, إِذَا hasad لِمَا يُرِيدُ لِمَا يُرِيدُ See, Alif with the Zabba before, that's Madul Asli. Uh, it's haram to stretch it more than Alif. And here, Yasaki with the Zer before it, uh, um, it's Madul Arith Waqfi. Because after the letter Zamad, there is a tem temporary Sukun because of this Ayah symbol. So, stretch it three or five Alifs. Lima yurid. Lima yurid. 